All right, Mena fans, just a quick update from the network. Obviously, the guests of Mena fandom, Pat and Chris, have uh, fallen on tough times and have been ousted from the network. I just want to go through what happened because the Kirk Menahan network is built on values of trust and respect and it's built upon the hard work of many, many Minna fans trying to put together this wonderful network. And unfortunately, Pat and Chris fell well short of those standards, especially around trust. Now, the circumstances are that they submitted a 420 show. I watched the show in preparation for release. And what got through was a very, very brief racist gesture by their guest, Tony. Now, it was very, very brief and easy to miss. And Pat and Chris know that the reason they're not allowed to go live is because of things like this. And all they have to do is let me know and those things will be removed from the broadcast. Now, I watched it. They knew it was in there. It was almost like they were trying to get one past. Pat admitted to me in DMs that he tried to edit it out but wasn't able to. But instead of telling me, they just submitted it and that will bring trouble on other Minna fans' hard work, um, you know, the, working really hard to build the network. And if, if people aren't honest, then then they can't be part of the network. All Pat and Chris had to do was tell me and it would have been removed. I don't think it is a reasonable expectation that I should be I have to go through every show with a fine tooth comb looking for the smallest of um, transgressions now. What Tony did whilst being very bad was very, very quick and could be easily missed by anybody. It was very, very quick. So the fact that they didn't alert me to that just means that um, they can't be trusted and therefore they've been removed from the network. They're, They're very, very nice guys and I said something on Twitter that I regret But, you know, it was a breach of trust. Pat and Chris, whether they did it intentionally or not, uh, jeopardised the the health of the network. They jeopardised the future of the network. And as I said, the KMN network is built upon values of trust, honesty, transparency, good communication, and it's built upon the hard work of many, many Minna fans. And for Pat and Chris to just submit that show without providing details of the alleged transgression is a one and done offence, I'm afraid. And uh, it's not a reasonable expectation that I should have to int- a very, very detailed go through every uh, broadcast. If that's the game where Minna fans want to submit stuff to try and get through censorship, well, then it's not a game I'm going to play because obviously I listen and watch everything before it goes to air. I have to watch it anyway and I'm listening for things that shouldn't be in there but I've said to everybody, everybody, Go crazy on these shows and just tell me. If something happens, I'll take it out. That's that's pap- the rules with Pappy's Kitchen. That's the rules with the 420 show. But they broke that rule. They broke that trust and therefore they're out. It's a one and done policy, I'm afraid. That was, that was too heinous um, a, a, a transgression for it to... Um, to be allowed to go past. Um, so, yep, that's the situation. The 420 show were on the outs. They tried to sneak a fast a fast one past me. And, uh, yep, unfortunately it didn't happen. I picked it up. No damage was done. Fantastic management by me. Absolutely fantastic management. You know, had to watch the show. Picked it up. Deleted the show. Have taken swift action. That CEO masterclass right here. Anyway, thanks for listening. Bye-bye.